Life is not always fair. Do you agree? Sometimes people hurt us in ways that are terribly unjust. You know, they take advantage of us, misuse us, abuse us. And what happens because of that? There is so much of pain, there is so much of loss and there is so much of trauma and the immediate reaction when someone mistreats us with no fault of us is to take revenge, is to pay them back. You, know, you did this to me, I will do this to you. You know, I will do worse things for you. But when you take revenge, we don't gain anything. What happens when we take revenge is the other person again takes revenge back on us and then we do it again and the cycle continues and what happens because of all this revenge there is so much of bitterness you know our soul is being poisoned and now we are not able to rest there is no peace because Every time you're thinking about those people, every time you're thinking about that loss, that pain and all the plans that you're making, how to harm them. That's not the life that God wants us to live. God has a better plan. It says in Romans 12, 19, do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. You know, the scripture clearly tells us to not take revenge. God says, it is mine to take revenge. You know, when God says it is mine to revenge, means that job belongs to God. You know, God is very particular about his job. You know, what belongs to God? It belongs to God. Even in Malachi, you know, when we don't tithe, what God says to us, you have robbed me. In the same way, when it comes to taking revenge, God is saying, it is not your job. It is my job. It is God's job. And you know, we are so particularly, if someone takes a towel or takes a chair, he says, don't take it. It is my chair. If you're working in a company, somebody does your job, you say, that's my job. I have been doing this for 10, 20 years. We are so particular about it. Same way God is saying, it is mine to avenge. It is mine to repay. That's what our job is to trust God. You know, I do understand what each one of you are going through. You have gone through some unfair situation and there is pain involved. The pain is real. The trauma is real. The loss is real. But you know what? We cannot change the past. We cannot change what happened. We cannot change that unfair situation that happened in our life. But what we can do now is give it to the Lord and he will take care of our future. You know, I want to encourage all the viewers. Don't live in bitterness. Don't let it poison your soul because our job is to trust God and it is God's job to vindicate us. When God says in the scripture, I will do it, I will take revenge, I will pay back, that means he will do it. And he will do it in his time and in his ways. In the meantime, we trust God because he knows what is good for us. He knows what is best for us and he will always do the best for us. Amen. God bless you.